Welcome to my new Mega 65 benchmark video. Again, it is inspired by a video Matt Heffernan posted a few weeks ago on his channel. There he focused on the Commander X16's performance by calculating high-res Mandelbrot sets in BASIC and Assembler. And so I thought it is time to look at the Mega 65's computational power. First, I want to take a few moments to look back at the Battle Royale, which was a benchmark battle between various 8-bit platforms. The parameters were cut down to the lowest common denominator. Because of that, the resolution was only 32 by 22 on a text screen, and it only used 16 colors or iterations. My programs were based on Matt's C64 versions, and as they did, um, I also only used 16-bit uh, integers with 8 bits whole and 8 bits fractional parts. The results for the Mega 65 were 4.15 seconds using BASIC and 0.4 seconds using Assembler. So for the high-res version, I used Mega 65's VIC4 full color text mode at 320 by 200 with 8 bits of color. The FCM mode is a tile-based graphics mode using 16-bit characters, which are really just pointers into memory. As Matt used 48 iterations in his X16 version, I decided to do the same. I even used the same color palette. For the Mandelbrot iteration, I implemented the most common optimizations, which is the reduction of the needed multiplications. As the screen, not the computed set, is 20% smaller, we will need to add that to the elapsed time to get a comparable result. Um, the BASIC-65 basic version is a conversion of the LORAS program to which I did add mentioned modifications. Note that the BASIC-65 itself uses hardware, the hardware capabilities of the Mega-65, which is the DMA controller for filling the screen and the CPU math acceleration registers for floating point mantissa multiplication. This hardware unit can do 32-bit multiplication and division in a very fast way. I pre-recorded and time-lapsed the basic version, so let's take a look at it. As you can see, it took 10 minutes and 43 seconds to calculate the Mandelbrot set at 40 MHz. As we are projecting only at 320 by 200 instead of 240, as I mentioned above, uh, before, we need to add 20% for a com comparable result. That would be 12 minutes and 51 seconds. So that's the speed of the basic version. Next I did the assembler version. And this took the most of the time because I had to learn how to do graphics in assembler. I also decided to use more bits for my numbers. But instead of using 24 bit in a 16.8 layout as Matt did, I switched to 32 bits with only 8 bit for the whole part and 24 bit for the fraction. This was because I wanted to use the 32-bit math acceleration registers for the multiplications and don't waste any bits. All variables and pointers again use base page uh, addresses. There are many possible enhancements I could add. One thing are the 32-bit Q register opcodes, which I currently can't use because the emulation does not implement them yet. So, now let's take a look at the assembler version.
I added a basic boilerplate which does the timing calculation because I did not yet implement it in Assembly. So we start it up and we see how fast it is. And it's half done. That's the slowest part we are at. And ready. So I uh, skip out of the finished graphic directly because I need to get this timing. And as you see, the timing is 14.74 seconds. Again, adding 20%, we would end with 17.69 seconds, which is a quite good result. For the future, I will use the project to learn more about Mega65 programming. For example, I will add a feature so you can select a region and dive deeper into fractal space. I want to thank Matt for his great videos and his inspiration to do this. Please take a look at his channel. You can find links in the description of this video. There you can also find links to my Git repository for this project if you like to take a look at the code. Thanks for watching. See you next time.